despacito Quiero respirar tu fuego despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Despacito Quiero desnudarte a besos The first step to going to Cuba is getting a visa So you can get a visa at the airport We're in line for that visa To get a visa it's super easy So the place where you get the visa is in the airport It's usually in your terminal um, We paid 50 bucks for flying Southwest And it's awesome And the other thing is that if you want to like go to Cuba, like you decide on that day that you want to go to Cuba, then you can just go to the airport and get your visa that day. I mean, obviously plan ahead, but it was like a 15 minute process. We literally decided to go on Wednesday, it's Friday, and we just showed up, got our visas, and now we're going on the plane. Some like, I don't know, like expectations that we've heard about Cuba since we've never been before. So this is what I'm expecting. Um, Franz told me that there's no credit cards, there's no Wi-Fi. Well, they're credit cards, they just don't accept the US based on credit cards, so. So they don't accept U.S. credit cards. There's no Wi-Fi. Certain places, from what I see. So I mean, I don't think we're gonna have you know cell phone roaming there. But if we do, then you're gonna see a lot of photos. If you don't, then you're gonna have to wait. Yeah. So if I'm not on Snapchat, that means that there was no Wi-Fi. I heard like the cars are like really like antique. They have cars, obviously. But no, they're just, but like, like the older. cars are like older. Yeah, obviously. You know, I mean, there, there was an embargo, you know, for a long time, so they couldn't import anything. So pretty much stuck, you know, in the 50s. What else do you expect? 60s. Uh, I just expect really good food, really good drinks, and a lot of beaches. This is our room in the Barcelo. We have our showers here, the bathroom. Um, I guess in here is like the safe and the closet and the sink and then there's Franz. Hey, hey. So yeah. And we just found the beach so um, we just landed like a few hours ago and we just finished checking in. It was like a long line but now we're here. <laughs> Cuba, we have very limited Wi-Fi and if you want to get Wi-Fi you have to use these internet cards and there's not a lot available so they're really hard to come across and they only give you one hour of internet. So I've been super disconnected and a lot of websites actually don't even work with these cards. Unfortunately, well we kind of already expected this but the food is really bad. It's really inedible. I mean there is a lot of food but, I mean, it's, it's just not really good food. We so, literally had to go to the convenience store in the hotel to buy a bag of chips and bottles of water, and that's what we ate for dinner last night. So we finally made it to the beach. It's like 2 p.m. We kind of slept in because we were so tired from traveling all day yesterday, but it's really gorgeous. Like, the water is just pristine. I'm going to jump in in a little bit. I mean, try not to eat because if it's not as great, but look at this, look at this, miles and miles of beautiful beach. Hey Lisa, oh yes, hi, what are you doing? I'm trying not to fry, it's so hot. I know, it's a beautiful day though. Do you like That's, my bikini? Yeah, who makes that? This guy, yeah. That's nice, good. So what are you going to do all day? <laughs> Lay here and then we're gonna go eat and I'm so excited to have some real Cuban food. Where are we gonna go and eat? Downtown Baladero. It's Baladero. Baladero. I have no idea which way. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Cuando tú me besas con esa destreza, lo que eres malicia con delicadeza. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando. So like I said, the food in our hotel was really, really bad. So we ventured out into downtown Veradero to get some real Cuban food and it was so good. So now we're gonna go over to Plaza Americana where they have like some tourist attractions and just walk around. Hey guys, so right now we're walking in downtown Baradero. 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 And I got this hat. How much is this hat? It's like three Cuban pesos, which is like four dollars, about four dollars for US dollars. Yeah, because conversion rates here like suck. But. 
Yeah. Hey guys, so we decided to take a day trip into Havana from Valadero. It's about a two hour bus ride and we did a guided tour, so we're kind of in the middle of that right now. Havana. Um, we just drove through New Havana and this is Old Havana and um, it's just like very stuck in time. I think that's the way that I can describe it is that it's just frozen in time but the colors vibrant, the people are vibrant and it's just really a new experience. Good morning everyone. So it's our last day in Cuba so we're just gonna spend it on the beach because it is so gorgeous out. All right, guys, so while we're traveling, I thought I would give you a tour of my travel essentials. Um, I always use the Dermalogica Active Moist because this is like the most hydrating lotion and it just like makes you stay hydrated even through traveling and everything like that. And then I have a travel size daily microfoliant and this just keeps your skin exfoliated and looking fresh and well rested. And then I have my Peter Coppola Blow Dry Spray and this is amazing because it keeps my hair protected from heat, which is really good when you're spending a lot of time in the sun or in the pool. And then of course another hair care product is the Moroccan oil and this has saved my hair. So I just put this on um, after I wash my hair, before blow drying and also after styling. And I'm like almost out of it because I really love this stuff. And then for daytime I use this SPF 50 Dynamic Skin Recovery. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. And this is gonna protect your skin from aging, especially when you're spending time in the sun. It's SPF 50. I love this stuff. So for skincare, this is pretty much all I need. This is an Ecotan travel pack. And the things that I use the most are the winter skin, which is like a gradual tanner. And this invisible tan, which is like, um, it'll get you tan in like eight hours with like a nice bronze tan. And then I also use this coconut body milk for lotion and the pink Himalayan salt scrub, which is for exfoliating. So it'll actually prep your skin for a tan or it'll just be like a nice scrub. Um, it's like a little spa treatment. And then the last thing in here is the coconut mint body wash. So I pretty much use everything in here um, when I travel, especially to the beach. And I love that it's travel size and everything is organic. Okay, so the next thing is this Morphe travel kit. I keep all of my brushes in here. Promise not to laugh at me, my brushes are so dirty. They come out into little cups and you can actually just like store them like that and it's awesome because you have like your makeup station and it's ready to go. I keep my brow pencils, my lip liners, like small brushes and eyeliners in here. So for makeup, I keep everything in here. This is an Adrian Vitadine travel pouch. So once you open it up, it's organized into compartments, which is awesome. So I have my lashes, like tools and larger brushes on this side and then in the middle I have all of my palettes and then on this side I have like my foundations, um, setting powder, setting spray, primers, and brow pomade. Um, so I love this. It folds right up and you're just ready to go. So I really like that to store my makeup. And then the last thing is this mirror. It actually folds like that. You can pop it open and make it stand up. So if you're just doing makeup on the go, it's just like the perfect portable mirror. So that was the tour of my beauty bag when I travel. All right, so right now we're at the airport and we're going back to Miami. I'm Hopefully so excited. to board. It's a mess. Everyone's like crowding at the gate to get on the plane. Um, I'm so excited to go back to like America where we can just be on internet on our phones. Like I really learned to like appreciate a lot of things just by being here, but I'm so, so grateful that we came and I think the beach was beautiful as you guys saw. So that was my Cuba vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Vamos a hacerle una playa en Puerto Rico Hasta que las olas griten, ay bendito Para que mis hechos se queden contigo Despacito